Welcome to your muscle and Tabata class. In today's class, you're going to do four exercises, each a minute long, repeated twice. They are all resistance exercises, so if you have a set of weights, grab them. If not, you're going to repeat these exercises without weights faster than I do them. After that, you'll have a minute of rest, and then we'll do a resistance exercise in Tabata form. So you'll do 20 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest. Eight times, same move, as many reps as possible. We're going to have three blocks of exercises. You'll also want to have a chair if you would like to do chest press and tricep dips off of the, off of the floor. Otherwise, you can lay on the floor and repeat those same exercises. So get what you need, grab some water, and join me for your warm-up. In our warm-up, the first thing we're going to do is going into one, two, three, knee. We're going to do it eight times. So it's one, two, three, knee, one, two, three, knee. That's four. Two more. Now I want to do a squat and curl. Squat, curl. Eight times as well. Abs in. Exhale. Two more, and we're going to inchworm. So I need you to find some room to crawl forward. Do mountain climbers for four, three, two, and inchworm back up. Repeat this three more times. I think forward just slightly. Try to pull your shoulder blades back. One more time. We're going to go into alternating forward lunge with an overhead reach. Looks like this. Lunge, reach, come back. Exhale as you lift. Six more times. If you don't like lunging forward, you can always go into a reverse lunge instead. Step so far forward that your front knee is not in front of your toes. One more to down dog and plank. Hinge forward, walk your hands until you feel that you are comfortable pedaling your feet. I want to pedal my feet, then I want to come into plank. So, pedal for two, Come into plank. Pedal, plank. Exhale. Do it one more time. I want to push up and do Superman. So come all the way down, lift your arms and legs, push up. That's one, let's do seven more. You can go on your knees if you prefer. Try not to peel your body off of the floor. Come up in one motion. Two more. We're going to repeat from the top. We're going to do four of each, which is one, two, three, knee. Walk yourself up and repeat. One, two, three, knee. Two more. Squat and curl. For four. Inchworm down, mountain climber four, come back. Do it one more time. Alternating forward lunge and reach four times. Here comes your down dog, reach. Pedal your feet, four, three, two, plank. Do it again. Four. Squeeze your glutes. I want you to feel the stretch through your hamstring. Last one. Come forward, push up. Superman. Three. Two more. We're going to repeat from the top, do two of everything. Walk it in. One, two, three, knee. One, two, three, knee. 
squat and curl. Inchworm. Four mountain. One more time. Alternating forward lunges. Down dog, pedal your feet four times. Here we go. Four, three, two, plank. One more time. Four, three, two, plank. Push up. Superman. One more time. One, two, three, knee. Let's go twice. One, two, three, knee. Squat and curl. Squat and curl. Inchworm, mountain, four. One more. Alternating forward lunge. Down dog. Pedal your feet for four, three, two, plank. Go again. Four, three, two, plank. Push up. Superman. One more. All right, we're gonna round our backs up slowly. Through your shoulders. Have a sip of water. Then you're gonna need your sets of weights. What do I want to start with? I actually want to start with a chest press using the piece of, a, of well, I was gonna say equipment, but it's the chair or the floor. We're gonna do a minute of chest press. So get yourself set up. Okay, we have four moves. The first move is gonna be a chest press where you're gonna lay your head and shoulders on your chair or on your sofa, or you could do this on your floor, but I would add a bridge. Move number two is gonna be a tricep dip. Fingers toward your feet, hips are gonna be raised. Same idea if you'd rather be on the floor here. Exercise number three, we're gonna be going into standing bicep curls. And four, we're gonna be going into a reverse plank, which is heels down, arms out, push with your triceps and your heels and lift your hips up. So when you're ready, Get yourself set, one minute each. We're doing it two times through. You're gonna go at your own pace. So if you're lifting lighter, you're gonna do more reps. So if you wanna join me, head down, here's your first minute. We're gonna, again, if you're on the floor, every push you make can be a bridge. Whatever you're doing with pushing with your feet, push into the middle of your foot. Not your heel, that's more hamstring. I want you to feel this in your glutes. Every push is also an exhale. I want you to imagine you're pushing a bar, which means that your weights come in line with your chest. They don't go over your shoulder joint. That can pinch your shoulders. Need to relax your neck and have a look at your wrists. You don't want them to bend back. You want your knuckles to go to the ceiling. 10 seconds, then you're going to go into dips. There's no rest in between. Transition as quickly as you can. Three, two, and one. So, fingers are going to face your feet. Every extension, I'm gonna push up my hips. If you're new to this, make these a smaller range of motion. I don't want you to pull anything in the front of your shoulders. If you need a balance challenge, you can cross an ankle. Or you could extend your leg and hold it there on its own. I am gonna switch halfway through here. Go for two more. Okay, we're gonna switch legs, if you are with me here. You wanna keep your back fairly close to the front of whatever you're holding on to. 
There's 10 seconds. Tighten up the quad. Wanna go into bicep curls. Ready? Grab your weight. Come to standing. Now, if they are light enough, lift them both. Can you go palm up? Turn your pinky toward your shoulder. If you're lifting heavier, one at a time option. Now I'm gonna maintain a partial squat. So sit back into your heels. Again, if you're lifting a lighter weight, go faster. Another option for those of you that might be lifting at a different weight, you could go to a one leg balance and tap your toe. Remember what leg you're doing because on the next set we'll switch legs. It is a reverse plank. In five seconds, you lay on your back. All right, weights are down. Arms spread out. Push your heels into the floor and your triceps. Breathe deep. Now, do you wanna hold for a minute? It's fairly challenging. You can take a break anytime you want. Regulate your breathing. You are halfway. Can you relax your neck? If you have issues in your back, come down, take a break for a moment. Whatever you're doing, you have 15. Then you go straight back into chest press. So if you're doing it on the floor, easy stuff. Just grab your weights and away you go with the bridge. In five. But if you're with me, come on to that chair and get going right away. Bar, imaginary bar, in line with your chest. Knuckles to ceiling. Exhale on that lift. Are you adding a bridge if you're laying on the floor? It can go up and down or it can stay up for as many pushes as you can handle. Push, remember in the middle of your foot, that's what you're pushing down with. In 15, I have a tricep dip. If you want to make it harder, put your weight on your lap. Well, last one. Here we go. One leg. Tighten up the quad. Weight on your lap if you want. Like so. Might be a little much on your hip flexors if you have the weight. Be mindful of where your fingers are. They're not facing behind you. Other leg. Last 20, are you raising your hips up? Do you remember what's next? Part of this is a challenge for your memory. <laughs> it's a bicep curl. Three, two, two weights. Hello. Halfway through, I did a balance. You balance right away if you like. Remember your options, pinky to shoulder. Partial knee bend. Do you remember what foot you stood on before? Oh. Oh. Ah. Hello, weights. You're plenty heavy today. Okay, 15. Oh. Oh. Eight 
It's a reverse plank. One more. Go for it. Arms out. Heels down. Drive the tricep. You may want to close your eyes. Imagine just being relaxed in your neck. Relax in your shoulders. If you want to take a break, come on down with me for five, four, three, two. You have 25 seconds left. Drive the heels, squeeze your glutes. This kind of plank really helps with your posture. It forces you to squeeze your shoulder blades together. It forces you to squeeze your glutes as you lift your hips up. You're going to have a water break in five. And one. Right. I want you to grab a sip of water. I'm trying to give you about a minute of rest. Then we're going to go into Tabata with one weight. We're going to do snatches. Snatches typically can be heavier because you're using your full body. But if you have a shoulder injury, you can stay with lighter or you don't have to lift overhead. Here's your snatch. You squat, your aim is to try to touch your weight down. You're gonna pretend you have a hoodie and you're zippering your hoodie up over your face. So that's the motion of this weight. Again, it does not matter to me how heavy you lift or if you don't have a weight at all. Add a plyometric hop to this. Each 20 seconds, we're going to switch lead on. Set. Go. Count how many you do. It's your benchmark. To see if you can go not below this number. Straight back. Rest. So if you number on your right arm, here comes your left arm. See what you can do. Ready, set, go. Your decision. Here we go. Five. 
Gotta go for nine minimum. Ready? Set. Go. This is my stronger arm. Three, two, there's nine and a half. All right. Could you take yourself? A minute water. That's block one. Two more blocks. New exercises. Keep yourself moving. Then have some water. And join me for new one minute moves. Here are exercises of choice. We're gonna do squat, rotator cuff. So squat, rotator cuff. Those will be not as heavy, most likely. Then I wanna do bicep curl. I'd like to lunge forward and backwards. So would you get your weight for your squat and rotator cuff? We're also gonna do some push-ups, as well as a bridge with one leg. So you're gonna squat, Hold your arms in a bicep position isometrically. Squeeze your shoulder blades back. Ready, squat as low as you want to. Then hitchhike with your thumbs. Trying to keep them basically at 90 degrees with those arms. Now you can hopefully see, I am trying to touch my elbows to my thighs as my challenge to squat lower. Exhale, lift. If you need any sort of reprieve, there's an option. You can also choose to not squat, or you can choose just to squat. Your choice. 20 to go. Hands are quite relaxed if your weights are lighter. Getting a new bicep curl, lunge forward and backwards. If you need to go heavier, get your weight. Same leg, forward and backwards. Now if this is heavy, be very mindful. Be careful as you step forward. Gonna get the knee down as low as I can. Abs in. <laughs> Switch legs. Or you can stay with the same leg. Your choice. Ten until we push up. If you're not going to push up, plank instead. High or low. Three, two, one. Okay, knees or toes, whatever you're doing, straight body. Chest does not touch. Just look slightly forward. Keep your ears above your shoulders. If you're in full body, push your heels together. Here's 15 till you flip over and bridge. Option, lift one leg. 
Last one. Flip. Feet hip width apart. Push your butt close to your heels. Lift and lower. Okay, here's your options. One leg. Push all the way to the ceiling with that hip lift and push with your triceps. Wanna switch legs? 30, now we're gonna repeat these four moves. So what's the first move? Squat with rotator cuff. Push with, again with the middle of your foot. It's like your toes are sliding forward in your shoe. 10. Last one. Alrighty. Rotator cuff weights. Partial squat. Here we go. Down and up if you'd like. Okay. Imagine an ice cube dripping down your spine. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. And lift up that chest. Hanging in there. You got 30. Rotator cuff for four muscles around each of your shoulder blades. They often get injured when throwing. Sadly, I have four tears, two in each shoulder, which really impacts me, especially when I try to do push-ups. I have one more. I need a bicep curl. Stand forward and back. Okay, now this is the other leg. You decide if you're going to stay with the, the whole minute or do you switch halfway. If it hurts your back to do this, I'm going to show you the option. You lunge, then you curl. You lunge, then you curl. If you're ready to switch legs, if you are, here we go. I know I'm getting tired, how about you? You gotta go lower, not to cheat. One more. Here's your push-up. Or you can go into the plank, low, on your knees, high up, retraction, retraction, any option you please. Hands are close to being underneath those shoulders. In my case, that doesn't feel great. So I need to go wider. Now squeeze your glutes. If you're high, again, heels together. How you doing? Look forward. Here's 15. Five till your bridge. Flip. Feet hip width. Do under the one leg. I'm gonna start with the other leg this time. Drive your triceps down. Push with the middle of that foot. You should hear your breathing. I am switching legs. Again, heel close to the glute. Tighten up the squat. Point your toe. Now close your eyes if you'd like and relax your shoulders. Here's 10, till you have a minute rest. And rest. Okay. All right, 
right, we have to do another Tabata to finish this block. So as you're having a sip of water, this is a Bulgarian split lunge. This is where your chair comes back into place. I want to put my leg on something high. The higher it is, the harder this exercise is. So could you have your foot on the floor? Yes, you could. Uh, could you find stairs and put your back foot on it? Yes, that's a good option as well. This is how it looks. Right foot, rest. Front foot comes forward enough so when you bend your knee, your knee is not in front of your toes. With weights or without, you're just going to hold. You could hold one weight here, two weights here, or two here if they're not as heavy. 20 seconds, rest 10, switch legs, keep alternating. So get your weight, chest lifted high, here we go. Now, I want you to look at your front knee just briefly. It needs to be in line with your foot, meaning don't let your knee come in on an angle. You should be able to lift your big toe. Three, two, one. Okay, this is a lot of work for your glutes. Forward, three, two, one. Three, one, other leg. Option right is here, or if you have no weight, you can do this. Ready, go, whatever you're doing. Right leg is back. Three, two, one. Switch legs. Again, if you don't have weight, you push off, come down. In three, two, begin. Dump your big toe, push into your heel. Three, two, one. Halfway. Deep breath. Right, set, go. Abs in. Three, two, one. Hi, chair. How you doing? Left leg. In three, two, go. Exhale up. Can you drop a little lower? Rest. One on each. If you've counted, try not to go slower. Ready, set, hit it. Really, three, two. One, really, well, that's over. One more. Left, in three, two, one. Lift up the big toe. Three, two, Hallelujah. For your third block, your four exercises, side lunge, side raise. 
Exercise number two, you're going to be going into a squat with an overhead press. Three, chest fly, where your arms come open. Instead of being on my chair, I'm going to be on the floor so that I can add, if I want, bridge, because I'm a big fan of bridge, or stay down. Then I can plop my weights down, and then I'm going to do dead bug. If you want to fly up on your chair, great. You're just going to transition to the floor for your dead bug. Get what you need and join me. Your first move is going to be side lunge, and I want you to side lunge to the same direction for the whole minute. So get the room that you need, take a step out, get the feel for this. Weight goes to the inside of the foot, and then you're going to reach out without hitting anything. All right, here we go. go turn this direction. When you raise your arms to the side, go thumb to ceiling. That'll open up the shoulder joint. Keep your chest lifted by looking forward. And if you want to add a balance with your side raise, you can lift your leg up. seconds to do tricep. Either one heavy weight or two medium weights. Here we go. Now if you're not okay going overhead, do straight arm pullbacks. Okay? If you are going overhead, try to get your biceps close to your ears. I'm just showing your option if you want to do with one weight. All right. If you're not comfortable doing your squats, just stand either wide or stagger your feet. Take some pressure off your back. There's 20. Till you come down to do chest fly. Come with me. Pretend you're squeezing a big beach ball. Elbows are slightly bent. Then if you're on the floor, you just go till your tricep touches. If you're on that raised piece of furniture, just be aware that you don't overstretch and lower your arms too much. You can see I'm putting in the bridge as the option. If your back's really tired, give it a break. But if you're okay, squeeze your glutes. Let those toes slide forward in your shoe boxes. 10 until I dead bug. With or without a weight is an option. I'm going to do alternating arm and leg. Here I go. Start with the legs at tabletop, arms overhead. Extend. If it bugs your back, don't go down as low. Or keep your knee bent. For more advanced, you're going to lengthen. If you're wanting to do more, you can do a weight overhead between two hands or one in each hand. Try not to let your lower back come off the floor. If it does, don't lower your leg so much. Exhale, lengthen. Ten until we get up and side lunge. 
If you need to take your time to get up, pause your video because there isn't any time to adjust. Remember, thumbs to ceiling. And then there's that balance option. Exhale. I'm pretty excited this is the end of the third block. I'm pretty excited you're here to join me for this. We need to go. Do you remember what's next? The tricep overhead or straight arm push. Here we go. Up. You can always do one at a time. Again, the option thumbs out, squeeze. So here it is. Straight spine, please. Our head does not come forward. <laughs> Biceps to ears. 30. Then we're going to get into that chest fly. Option bridge. 15. Do you have one in ya? Go on, here we go. Feet hip width, heels, glutes, palms in, squeeze the beach ball. Lift if you like. Relax your hands if your weights are light enough. through the middle of your foot. Do you want to keep your hips up? That's another option. You've got 15 till we dead bug. With or without your weight. Three, two, legs, tabletop, arms straight up, opposite arm and leg. If you have that one weight between two hands. Okay, here's the deal. Can you go as slow as possible? That is actually harder. Time under tension. Working on strength through your core. You'll feel it through your shoulders. Back of the arm, the tricep. Just focus on your breathing. Here's 15. Five. Weight down. One minute to rest. One Tabata. It's a man maker. Grab your water. Okay, what's a man maker? It's basically a burpee with weights. It's a curl and a press. Then you're going to squat down. You're going to bring both legs out, either one at a time or as a hop. And you're going to row twice, walk it in, curl, and press. Again, it looks like this. Curl, press, walk it in, or hop it, row, row, walk or hop to so walk it. And then you're going to curl to press. Grab your weights, heavy as you got. 20 seconds, let's go. Don't go at my pace, go at your own. Straight back. Three, two, one. 
Okay, basically I can do two and a half with weights that are heavy. See how I do with half as heavy. Go. There's three and a half. You know you can do these with no weights if you want. Six to go. Ready? Go. to start, start coming down. Ready? Go. Then come up. Rest. If you don't want to go into your plank, I want you to see you can curl, press, hinge, row. Ready, set, go. Whatever version of this you want to do. I'll do it with you if you don't want to plank. Press, hinge, double row, or one arm at a time. Ready, set, last one. There you go. Two more. Ooh la la. Can you beat your time at all? I mean, how many you do? Let's go. There's two. And rest. Okay, one more. Finish the last one that you're on, okay? Don't stop halfway through. Let's go. Finish it. Your time is done. So good. If you want to join me for a stretch, please do. If not, stretch on your own. Have your water. Keep moving for a little bit till your blood starts pumping kind of evenly without pooling on you. Coming down towards your legs where you feel faint. Not like you're going to pass out. That's a bad thing. Anyways, thanks for joining me if you're leaving me. If not, if you're staying with me, grab your towel. We're about to stretch. Stretch with me. Step out as wide as you can. Side lunge, come down on your arm, elbow, whatever is more comfortable, lift, pull back. Deep breath. Switch sides. Again, with your arm, comes back. Looking up, if that's comfortable, if you don't want to, you don't have to. Lean as much as you can, get a little inner thigh stretch happening, as well as to the side of your back, the lower back. Take your hands to the center. I want you to find a place where you can put them on the ground. Legs are wide, 
Pretend I'm holding your hips from behind you and pulling you back. Push into your heels. I want you to feel this through your hamstrings. If you're more flexible, take your legs in closer together. Take one, let's go with your left leg, okay? Left leg goes forward, right leg goes back. You're going to push into your heel. Hands are on the ground. Now would you lean? Lean towards your left leg, here's where it looks like, until you can almost see the bottom of your shoe. Place your knee down, relax your foot behind you, lift your left arm and look. You're lowering your hips towards the floor. Bring your hand down, go to cat and cow. So tuck everything up. Lift your head and hips. One more time, tuck. And lift. Right leg is gonna go forward into that lunge. I'm pushing into my heel, if you can see it, I don't know. Hips are coming forward. You're ready to lean so that you're pushing your foot, you're rolling on the outside of your foot. Drop your knee, relax your foot. Here's your lift. Come with me into child's pose. Lengthen your fingers, drop your forehead. Take your right arm under your left, turn and lay on your right shoulder. And switch. From there, lay on the same side that you're facing. It's a fetal position stretch. Your top arm lifts up and you're gonna look at your hand. Try to get your shoulders down. Relax through your lower back. Bring your knees towards the ceiling, feet together. You're going to bend your elbows like a cactus, let your legs, knees fall down like you're a frog. Push your lower back into the floor and just close your eyes. We're going to repeat what we did. So lay on your other side, legs at 90. When you're ready, reach and look. Intentionally relax your shoulders. Bring your knees back to center. Extend one leg as much as you can. 
Lift to grab the back of it and lower yourself down. Try to place your heel toward the ceiling. Your other leg can fall to the side if that's comfortable or you can straighten it. But don't let this knee bend. If it bends because the other leg is straight, then you need to keep the other leg bent. Relax your shoulders. And point your toe and then turn your toe in. Figure four, cross your ankle over the knee. Lengthen your arms by pushing your knees away. And let your foot draw the letter U with the toes. The leg that you're stretching comes off. We're doing this hamstring now. So then lift, heel up, lengthen back, shoulders relax. Point your toe. Toe in. Back to figure four, cross, lengthen away, draw the letter U, use this leg to bring you up, so you're going to go into crisscross. Keep going forward all the way until your elbows can maybe touch down or at the very least your hands can. Pull your abs in, link your thumbs together, come up about halfway. And then come with me into tricep. Deep breath. Uncross your legs and do them the other direction and switch arms. Nice and tall. Another deep breath in. Exhale, extend forward again, drop your head. Link your thumbs together, come up, bring it over toward one hip, trying to wing your shoulder blade out. And switch. your hands beside you, tilt your head away. You may want to close your eyes. Just hear your breathing. Tilt your chin to your shoulder. Chin to ceiling. And now the other side. Chin to shoulder. Chin to seal. 
doing? Release, run your shoulders up and back a couple times. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are able to work hard with or without the weights, with or without a chair. One more time. Make sure you're drinking lots of water throughout the day. I hope it's great whatever you're doing. Thanks again for joining me.